You are definitely awesome, but are you that awesome? I'm Michael Whitehouse, this is Michael's Motivation. Of course you're awesome, but at what point in life do you reach the point when you are so awesome that you get to assign some people to kind of below your attention, when you don't have to pay attention to everyone who reaches out to you, when you can be like, I'm not interested in meeting with you. Sorry. Not I'm too busy, not I can't fit in my schedule, but like, I'm not interested. Well, that point is never. There is no point when you are ever, I don't care if you're the CEO of some major corporation, I don't care if you're, if you're the governor, if you're the president, if you're the, the grand marshal of the world. There is never a point at which you can look at anyone and say, that person, really? I'm not going to talk to that person. Because you never know. First off, you never really know who you're talking to and what influence they might have in various places where you'd like to have influence. But also, aside from that, there is never a point when you have reached a point in life where you can be a jerk. Doesn't exist. If you're a jerk, you're a jerk. I don't care how big your title is, you're still a jerk. So don't be a jerk. And even, even if someone has wronged you, there are people who have done some fairly nasty things to me. But I avoid having people I consider enemies. Now, there are certainly people uh, who I am actively defensive around. I am concerned that they may wish to, to do something negative to me. But if they were to reach out with a hand of friendship, no matter what they'd done, I would be open to having a dialogue, having a parlay, as they would say in the Pirates of the Caribbean, and burying the hatchet if possible because there is never a time when it is better to have more enemies or adversaries. Now, of course, you'll always have time when there's people whose interests do not match your interests or perhaps their interests oppose your interest. Competitors in business, perhaps, or simply political opponents. You believe in X and they believe in the opposite of X. That's reasonable, but they are not your enemy. They are simply someone who disagrees with you and you may work at cross purposes, but it doesn't mean that you you know, wouldn't call them if you, uh, if you saw their kid wandering the street by themselves or you wouldn't return their puppy if you found them on the sidewalk. You know, because we're all basically human and we all really need to work together when you get right down to it. And the more people you cut off and the more people you assign as either unworthy of your attention or even worse, enemy, the poorer your life becomes and the poorer your spirit becomes. So I'm Michael Whitehouse. Do something awesome today. And you know what will make your life richer? Well, pushing the share button probably won't make your life richer, but it could make somebody else's life richer. So still push the share button and comment and give me your feedback. Let me know what you think about this. Thank you very much.